ever wondered why a female covert narcissist might feign illness or fatigue to avoid intimacy? This question might seem peculiar, but it's a reality many relationship advice seekers grapple with. To unpack this, we first need to understand what a covert narcissist is. Picture someone who, beneath an outwardly modest demeanor, harbors grandiose fantasies and a strong sense of entitlement. This person can be manipulative and self-focused, yet deeply sensitive to criticism. Now imagine this individual in a relationship. They might use tactics like feigning illness or fatigue as a way to avoid intimacy. It's not about the physical ailment itself, but rather a strategic maneuver to control, manipulate and maintain emotional distance. This tactic can be perplexing and hurtful, leaving partners feeling confused and concerned. But don't worry, we're here to shed light on the subject. Let's dive into why this might happen, exploring the reasons behind this complex behavior. The first potential explanation revolves around manipulation and power dynamics. When we delve into the intricate world of covert narcissism, we unearth a web of manipulation and power play. One of the ways this manifests is when the narcissist feigns illness. But why? What purpose does this serve? Well, it's a multifaceted strategy and the first facet is gaining sympathy and attention. Picture this. The narcissist is unwell. Suddenly, they've captured your emotions, your concern, your sympathy. You're drawn into their world, focused on their needs and burdened with their care and responsibility. It's a clever maneuver, isn't it? The power dynamic subtly shifts in their favor. The second facet is about avoiding vulnerability and intimacy. For many of us, intimacy is a beautiful dance of openness and trust. But for narcissists, it's a fearful plunge into exposed territory. Feigning illness provides an escape hatch, a way to maintain emotional distance and sidestep the perceived risks tied to closeness. And lastly, we have control. Narcissists thrive on control. It's their lifeblood. When they claim to be unwell, they're not just making a statement about their health. They're setting boundaries for emotional and physical intimacy, dictating terms of engagement, and ensuring they remain the puppet master of the relationship dynamic. So in essence, feigning illness isn't just about avoiding intimacy. It's a sophisticated chess game where every move is calculated and every outcome is designed to fortify the narcissist's position. It's about maintaining a power dynamic, dodging vulnerability and controlling the relationship's narrative. It's important to remember though that everyone's experience with a narcissist may be different. These are potential explanations, not definitive answers. Narcissism, like all personality traits, varies greatly from person to person. So by claiming illness, the narcissist can maintain control and keep the focus on their needs. This isn't about them being genuinely unwell. It's about them being in control. And that's a crucial distinction to understand. Another possible reason for this behavior is the narcissist's fear of rejection and criticism. An intriguing facet of narcissism is the dichotomy of an inflated self-image and a fragile ego. Narcissists often project an image of perfection, superiority and invulnerability. Yet beneath this facade, there's a deep-seated fear of being seen as inadequate or flawed. One way to understand this is by considering the narcissist's self-perception. They've created an idealized image of themselves, which they believe to be superior and infallible. This image, however, is often far removed from reality, making it highly susceptible to criticism and rejection. Intimacy in this context can be a minefield. It's a space where they might feel exposed, where their physical appearance or performance could be critiqued, and where their perceived imperfections might be revealed. This fear of exposure can lead to anxiety and insecurity, triggering a defensive response. And what's a convenient defense? Faking illness? By feigning illness, they can sidestep potential criticism. They can maintain the illusion of perfection without risking their ego or their carefully crafted image. If they're sick, they can't be expected to perform, and therefore they can't be criticized for any perceived inadequacies. Moreover, by pretending to be unwell, they not only avoid the risk of criticism, but also gain sympathy. They become the subject of concern rather than critique, effectively shifting the focus from their potential shortcomings to their supposed suffering. Faking illness, then, can be a defense mechanism to protect their self-image and avoid potential judgment. It's a way for them to retain control, 
avoid vulnerability and protect their fragile egos from the perceived threats of intimacy. But remember, this is just one potential explanation. Each individual is unique and their behaviors can be influenced by a multitude of factors. Understanding this behavior is about gaining insight, not about labeling or judging. It's about navigating the complexities of human relationships with empathy and understanding, always striving for healthier, more authentic connections. While manipulation and fear are common reasons, there can also be other factors at play. For instance, underlying mental health issues could be contributing to the situation. Depression, anxiety or other conditions can indeed affect a person's energy levels and desire for intimacy. So, when a covert narcissist claims to be unwell, it might not always be a ruse. In some cases, the fatigue or illness may be genuine. On the other hand, it could simply be a matter of disinterest or incompatibility. Perhaps the individual lacks interest in intimacy with you or feels incompatible in some way. In such instances, illness can serve as a convenient excuse to avoid physical closeness. Every situation is unique and it's essential to consider all possible angles when trying to understand someone's behavior. These other factors are just as important to consider when trying to understand this behavior. Remember, it's important not to use this information to diagnose or pathologize individuals. This knowledge serves as a tool to understand potential reasons behind certain behaviors. But it is by no means a definitive guide to understanding every individual's unique emotional landscape. If you find yourself concerned about someone's behavior, particularly if it's impacting your relationship negatively, it's crucial to seek professional advice. Therapists and counselors are equipped with the skills and knowledge to help navigate these complex situations. Let's not forget, healthy relationships are the bedrock of our society. They are built on mutual respect, open communication and emotional vulnerability. It's about creating a safe space where both parties feel seen, heard and valued. In a world where control and manipulation can sometimes mask themselves as love, it's essential to remember your worth and prioritize your well-being. If you feel constantly manipulated or controlled in your relationship, it's vital to prioritize your own well-being and seek support to navigate the situation.